So I just got in from walking with Grayson. And, you know, one of the things that I've been doing is I've, I've done a video about these gigantic poop bags that I carry with me. Um, they're like 11 by 17. And um, I also carry one of those little, you know, things of the poop bags that come in a roll that are maybe, oh, I don't know, nine by 11 or something. Let me just hang up my jacket here. So, um, I was thinking about how for different ones of us, different, we want our dogs to have certain skills, but they may be differing, you know? For example, um, my brother lives at a place where he's got, oh, I think over 30 acres, and he never takes his dog anywhere because the dog has plenty right there with all that acreage. So his dog can just run free. And pretty much the only skill it needs is when it's called that it comes. And if it's in the house, it knows where its bed is and going to its bed. You know, something like that, that's about it. Um, I'm gonna make some coffee while we're talking. <laughs> and on the other hand, I live in an apartment complex where there are wooded areas and planted areas. Um, they've got some nice landscaping. There are sidewalks. And when you move in, you have to sign an agreement that if you have a dog, you will pick up after it. And there are little stations with bags in case you don't have your own bags. And um, this used to be, interestingly, a pig farm. I mean, like maybe 50 years ago and before that, um, it was a pig farm. The kind, the way they used to farm pigs, which is they would have kind of like woods, you know, like a sort of forested area, and the pigs would just run wild in there and do whatever pigs do. Well, that land was bought and they built an apartment complex and left up many of the big trees. Oh, it's just lovely, big old oak trees with Spanish moss. Anyway, and there's also palm trees. <laughs> but because it's an apartment complex, I have to pick up after my dog. And like I said, and because there's a lot of trees, there's a lot of squirrels. And you know, most dogs will run after small things that go prancing by. So when I first got Grayson, he had been a dog, he's a rescue. He had been kept locked up, I believe, most of his life, about a year and a half to that point. So when he got outside and he saw things like squirrels or even a leaf skittering by in the wind, his natural instinct was to lunge after that thing and chase it. He didn't know how to walk on a leash and several times he almost pulled me down and it was very precarious walking him well we did a lot of training and now if now okay if a squirrel runs right in front of his nose he will try to take off after it but now if he sees a squirrel he may stop and you know kind of fix his gaze on it but Usually, if, you know, something alerts me to the fact that he's seeing something or if I see it first, I go, nope, nope. And sometimes I'll have him sit and just wait. He can look at it, but he cannot chase it or touch it. And uh, sometimes we just walk by. Now, for a while, we would walk the other direction. But golly, there's so many squirrels around here that walking the other direction kind of had us 
<laughs> turning around every few seconds. So the thing is that now we can walk and if there's squirrels scampering by or other dogs or people, he no longer tries to get to them. He keeps walking. And I thought that would never happen. So, you know, if you're in a situation where you want your dog better trained for that situation, it is possible. It takes time. Your dog needs to know what you want and what are the boundaries? If you sometimes, you know, some people use those expandable leashes, you know, that uh, you can unlock them and they get longer and then they reel back in when the dog is close. I feel like those are not good if you're in a training stage with your dog because you need to have close, tight control and know what he's doing. And he needs to know what you're doing. And the way he can tell that is by having a short leash where he, like if you start turning another direction, he can feel that immediately. If you're on one of those long expandable ones, he may not be aware of what you're doing. And to have a well-behaved dog, that dog in most cases needs to be aware of what his owner is doing and the way to make that happen when he's on the leash is to have a short leash well i've talked about a number of topics here i hope it's helpful and most of all i hope it's encouraging because the dog will learn what you regularly practice with him or her. If you are haphazard and sometimes practice some things and sometimes not, the dog will gravitate towards its natural instincts. For example, to chase small things that are going by quickly <laughs> and to eat anything that it sees like laying on the ground. Oh, that's another thing real quick. If you have the dog on one of those expandable leashes and somebody has left some kind of food on the ground or maybe a wrapper from food, your dog may gobble that down before you even know what's happened. So anyway, if you've got a dog, keep it close develop a relationship so you know what your dog's probably going to do and your dog knows what you want him or her to do.